Hello friends, uh, good evening. This is an announcement for a uh, new English DevOps batch which is going to start from uh, March 20th uh, starting from morning 7 o'clock to uh, 9 30 in the morning. It's IST uh, Indian Standard Time. Uh, so all this all this meeting information is available in the description of this email and you also find the meeting ID and everything there. Okay, and the, the good thing is you're going to uh, you can actually attend the, uh, both the first sessions uh, for free. You don't need to pay any fee. There is no registration required and uh, you can use this one you can use this uh, meeting id to join into this meeting so coming here so uh, the course is going to start from 20th uh, march which is on a saturday it's a weekend batch by the way in english and it starts in morning 7 a.m uh, until uh, 9 30. so it's two and a half hour uh, both saturday and sunday and uh, it's going to be a 10 weekend course by the way and uh, the timing is like five hours per weekend and <clears throat> Uh, the basic knowledge you need to require is you need to have a Windows or uh, Linux knowledge as well as if you know like a one AWS cloud or Azure cloud uh, like a knowledge on uh, any one of it so that uh, we're going to put our lab in uh, AWS or Azure and the fee for one uh, for this one will be like a six uh, two into six thousand which will be twelve thousand is the fee and you can pay it in two into six thousand by the way and uh, if you have any questions everything right you can actually contact me over this email as well as this is my whatsapp number and these are the meeting details Let, let's go ahead and see the course curriculum so i'm going to copy this and uh, go here and let me open this So this is the uh, complete course curriculum. I'm going to call this as uh, DevOps training phase one and I can say like it will go to beyond 60 hours by the way. So I have divided the whole uh, the whole syllabus into as you can see into eight modules and they're all big modules and it will take like almost like two and a half month uh, uh, more than two and a half month to complete. My expectation is 10 weekends and max of 11 weekends. Right? So the module one we're going to talk about like a scripting. So we're going to talk about shell scripting. We're going to understand how we can actually use the shell scripting i'm going to integrate the shell scripting with aws cli as well as azure cli to show you how you can run the shell scripts and you can do how you can do the automation and you can you can understand what is the uh, if loop while loop for loops and everything i also provide the overview about power shell scripting at the last of this one in every module right i'm going to integrate that one with uh, uh, with the jenkins by the way and second thing the second thing will be the module 2 uh, which will be like uh, the version control using the git so we're going to talk about like how we can use Git, GitHub, as well as how we're going to create branching, how we're going to do the the comments, all, all everything related to the version control, and also we're going to talk about like uh, the merging, rebasing, as well as I'm going to uh, integrate this with uh, Jenkins using the webhooks, as well as like uh, scheduling the pulls, so scheduling the SEM polling and everything. So the module two will cover all the version controls, by the way. Now the real DevOps com uh, comes from the, the module three where we're going to talk about the infrastructure as a code uh, We're going to discuss about uh, Terraform and understand what is the difference between advantages of Terraform over cloud formation and uh, ARM templates We're going to talk about like like everything about go deep into the Terraform It will it will almost take like a uh, uh, two complete weekends by the way So I can say like literally 10 to 12 hours of only on Terraform by the way because we're going to talk about the state files provider states as well as uh, as well as we're going to talk about modules how we can able to put the remote state in s3 and all these things apart from that we also going to cover uh, the packer as you can see we have a packer uh, which is used for ami automation and i also going to integrate completely uh, into the github the packer the terraform into with the jenkins so the module 3 completely covers uh, infrastructure as a code using terraform and packer and module four we're going to deal with uh, containers or i can say like microservices so i'm going to give a complete uh, deep dive into docker understanding the docker architecture repositories images and we're going to have uh, discuss a lot with the docker file and we can see like even the docker clustering solution with docker swarm networks and volumes at the last i'm going to even spend time uh, on even on uh, the kubernetes we're not going to cover deep into kubernetes but i'm going to introduce the uh, kubernetes to make you to understand the difference between uh, a docker swarm and uh, kubernetes and we're also going to learn about the basic primitives of uh, kubernetes like pods services deployments and etc once the the module 4 is completed the docker uh, containers are completed we'll move into ansible and puppet which are which are configuration management and desired state so in the step uh, module 5 we're going to talk about like 
uh, how what are the different different uh, configuration tools such as ansible puppet as well as chef and we're going to understand uh, uh, this is this is this is not required here <laughs> and we're going to talk about ansible playbooks ansible roles we're also going to have a uh, discuss about ansible tower and finally uh, we also go to the in you know, configuration management we go to the puppet we also same thing uh, uh, same thing similar to ansible so to understand like what is a puppet how you do the desired state management as well as configuration management with puppet now the last two uh, modules will cover CA and CD by the way. So continuous integration continuous deployment as a uh, delivery as well as continuous deployment So we're going to cover in deep uh, about Jenkins how to configure a cluster of a master and slave architecture in Jenkins As well as how you can automate the uh, failover as well as we're going to talk about like how we can use the on-demand slaves EC2 slaves as well as uh, docker containers as slaves. We're going to talk about like uh, how you integrate uh, integrate like a uh, blue ocean. We're going to talk about the basic uh, basic thing about what is a scripted pipeline? What is a declarative declarative pipeline? What are the advantages of doing that one and we're going to integrate along with uh, again with the docker github and everything Okay, we're going to see end-to-end -end CACD pipeline and the module 8 is completely into azure devops by the way which is a one of the most happening tools so we're going to discuss about like the, what is azure devops what are the boards actually we're going to talk about like complete again ca cd here we're going to talk about the build pipelines the release pipelines we're going to talk about the deployment groups we're going to talk about the agent pools and also we're going to talk about how we can actually uh, have different variables all these things how we can create a multi-stage pipeline so overall it will give you a complete overview about uh, the azure devops as you